Now, once upon Polytito, there was a sorcery whose apprentice was fully mischief and who liked a tinkery box of tricks when his master was away. Now, this day, the sorcerer said, I'm going to the chemist for some sulfur splody mixture for atmospheric testy, so don't poke your nose in my magic bookery, eh? Well, off he trotted on his bicycle loader, and the apprentice, all twiddly fingers, thought, ah, and reached it up on the high shelf for the big magic bookery for all experimold and magic casty spellers. Well, he opened it at page 300 and several and saw the magic wording. Put three drops of cinnamon in a beaker, lace it with chipple juice, two flies, levers, and a pinch of snobbery. Face it to the west and charm to your herbs. Abracadob or eeny miny mocust and give us a great big flocus and then woof! There were trickly little flames all creeping along the table, joined together in a fiery fire. What a conflagrail! This was frightful. So he back with his nose in the book for a quenchy spell and here flame, flee, fly, flow, floodry, floodry, flood, ha ha, floodry quencher. Get a hose pipe and stuff in your spade for a conflagrade. Oh. So he got a spade and stuffing it when out spurty water main, all punctured. Oh, tumbly, tumbly folly, like Niagara Falls Zambezi. Well, this was Terry Bowl, on account of although the fire gone, there was not enough blotty paper and the water risey risey and threatened to take everything away down to the sea in shippers. Well, far off. The sorcerer recoiled from the chemist on his two-wheel bicycle loader with his sulphury packy pocky and brimstone all treacly there and he saw a bedstetters all in the distance floating down the streakers and the apprentice on the chimney roof all armed a kimbo and doing a semaphore and morsey wave there in the distance and he realised what was wrong and he peddly peddly quick home for a stop in this awful collateral Well. He arrived and grabbed it the book down, chanting new spellers, ho hypers for heal it, the punctured pipers, and the water resealed. And he hadn't even taken off his bicycle clippers. Well, when everything dry as a bone, he pull it now, this naughty boy apprentice, down off the roof, and smackany smackany on the boker, and send him to bed with no cake. And he said, let this be a lesson in your school, and never fiddly or forbid with the bookery or poke em nose, and you'll take the consequence.